Let's take a look at aftermath in South Euclid yesterday. After the National Weather Service in Cleveland now says a microburst hit that area and two other counties. Which you may be asking, as we did, what exactly is a macroburst? Well, let's turn to the expert. Chief Meteorologist Betsy Kling here now to explain. What's up, Betsy? Well, you hear macro and micro all the time in various things, and it's the same situation as far as the weather goes. Here are all of the damage reports from Tuesday. Of course, we have the tornadoes, the four tornadoes that were already reported, uh, and those are kind of scattered from Rocky River and then down through uh, the Bro Bro uh, Brook Park area into Hudson, or not Hudson, Richfield, and then over farther east into Wade Hill. But then you add in this macro burst, and you can see how much larger it is, this black outlined area, and that is where we had these very intense winds across the area. A macro burst, a huge burst of high impact winds, 90 mile per hour peak winds, a path length of 15 miles. It's all straight line wind as it moves through. And as far as those macro bursts, they can uh, produce wind over a swath of greater than two and a half miles wide. They can last five to 20 minutes with winds all the way up to 135 miles per hour. We just saw 90 mile per hour winds were estimated with the one that we had. But remember, a microburst, the little ones, less than two and a half miles wide. Lena? Oh, interesting stuff. Thanks for explaining, Betsy.